Hey guys, here are a load of quick fire questions for your first topic in AQA Biology, which is all about cells and that organisation. Now to go with this, if you want a hard copy of this and a hard copy picture of the cells, um, if you go to my website, there is a free version guide over there that you can download and fill in as you go along. Um, good luck with this, guys. I hope you find it helpful. Don't forget, there are loads, loads, loads more stuff coming. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. Here we have the chloroplasts. which is where photosynthesis takes place. Here we have the mitochondria. Which is where respiration takes place. On the outside we have the cell wall which is responsible for the shape of the cell. On the inside, we have the cell membrane. Which is responsible for what goes in and out of the cell. This large bit here is the vacuole. This is full of um, sugar and sap. Um, these little black bits here are the ribosomes. They are responsible for producing proteins. Over here we have the nucleus. And that is where all the DNA is held. Three things that are in a plant cell that aren't in an animal cell are your vacuole, your cell wall and your chloroplasts. Label an animal cell. Cell membrane. And again, just like in our plant cell, this is responsible for what goes in and out of the cell, mitochondria. This is responsible for respiration. So producing energy. Um, all around the outside, all around the inside of the cell rather, we have the cytoplasm. which is responsible, um, which is where all the reactions take place. Our little black bits, again, are our ribosomes. Which are our protein producing factories. Here is our nucleus which has our DNA in it. Here is a bacterial cell. We have a cell wall, which is responsible for the shape. We have a cell membrane. which is responsible for stuff that goes in and out. We have our ribosomes, which again is protein production. Um, no nucleus in this because our DNA is kind of all squiggled around the middle. Um, and then we have a flagella which is responsible for movement. Give two different specialist cells. So for specialist cells you could have sperm cells, you could have 
root hair cells. They are specialist cells because their structure and their function has been adapted um, to suit the job that they do. Differentiation is turning a general cell into a specialised cell. How do you calculate magnification? This is the measured size over the actual size. Where are chromosomes? They are in the nucleus. That is of plant cells and animal cells, but not in bacterial cells because they're all over the place. Chromosomes provide the information um, or the instructions for a cell, what a cell needs to do. What is mitosis? That is dividing into two identical cells. What is a stem cell? This is a cell that has the option to divide into anything. What is diffusion? That is where something moves from a high concentration to a low concentration. Osmosis is the movement of water um, against the concentration gradient. An active transport is against the concentration gradient. So it requires energy. You can think of diffusion as letting something roll downhill, whereas active transport is trying to push something uphill. It requires a lot more energy and a lot more hard work.